Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Shocking AI News. And before I get into it, not much, but before I get into this, I want to do a quick recap. I talked about Sable Video, did a quick walkthrough, a demo, and I plan on covering it again down the road. I plan on doing a comparison side by side. If you paid attention, they all look very similar. I showed you the feature, they had the style. This one has a little more or less than the other, but Genmo, Stable Video, then you have Runway, ML. I haven't covered this, so stay tuned. Yes, and you can see they give me 126 seconds or so. I'm not too sure, it depends. I believe they explained pretty well, four or five credits per, s it says there, each second of video generation uses five credits and I have 630 credits left. So it resets every month. I probably have the basic plan yearly, 140 something a year. And I noticed I don't use it as much I wanted to. So ultimately I plan on sticking with one or two tools and then getting rid of everything else. So ladies and gents, this is another one. And last but not the least, notice something different. Clip drop by Jasper. Something I'm not too sure how to react because it used to be by stable video, basically stable AI, stability AI. But now it's Jasper. So if I'm not wrong, Jasper or yeah, they bought this up. They bought this company, tip drop, and I don't know what to expect in the future. Hence, you can see this is something new. Add magic to your own apps with the clip drop API. I'm sure they have planned to monetize this. That's what it is. Everything is money, right? Of course. Nothing wrong, but I don't. I hope they don't ruin any of these stuff. Clipdrop by far is one of my most used tool. Yeah, because you can easily remove background and you can do quite a few things. I've done a rundown on this previously. So I really, really hope the companies that are just taking over acquisition, they just don't come and destroy the previous products just because, yeah, you have to please the inv investors and insiders and shareholders. Yeah, so that's out. I also plan on covering this huggingface.co again they have a lot of new stuff and if you're new to my channel i encourage you encourage you to subscribe and also check this out huggingface.co and if you're not sure about any of the mod models don't install it okay because yeah you might end up downloading some malware or whatsoever so if you're 100 percent not sure just avoid but most of the things if you look at the rating based on the rating and feedback that's how i actually sort it out so the top liked and rating must be a little safer and you can always read the community notes and stuff. Okay. They have fascinating apps. I call them demo and like first beta mode kind of thing. Everything kind of gets in here before you get to see all these fancy things. You know what I mean? So I will cover it later down the road. Then we have Luma building multimodal AI to expand human imagination and capabilities. Fascinating. I don't really play with 3D models as much, but look at this one here. Imagine what's going to happen to the gaming, literally, the future of gaming. One thing, one concerning thing is transparency. As long as the developers are transparent, lately there are a lot of controversial thing uh, on PAL world. Yeah, well, if you are in gaming, you probably have heard about that. The PAL world and Pokemon kind of shenanigan. But yeah, accused of using AI to create the game. And I can see that happen. People developers as well as even directors and producers will be using ai generated clip if you watch the sora yes yeah, sora is pretty amazing i did say I'm, i wasn't surprised because i play with stable video i play with video tools quite a few and regularly so my points of views are a little bit different than most average joe and i'm just a student of life i'm not a guru i learn every single day and as i learn i will give back create stunning 3d models with ai by as of now i haven't played with any 3d stuff so i'm excited i'm a gamer myself i've been playing games since i was seven years old so when i see all this thing i'm fascinated having a passion in crypto playing with ai field and also growing up playing video games when you combine all three ladies and gents welcome to the future and this is your host ls system now before i end let's just run down in the well on the crypto news <laughs> crypto news ai news real quick and yes, crypto and AI, they're actually going up versus the whole economy right now. Everyone's talking about it, right? That's the narrative. We have Mistral next, the new benchmark in AI logic. I will actually do a video on Mistral. 
it's interesting. I have downloaded the one of the uncensored version onto my cloud drive, portable cloud drive, meaning I can use it offline in case the internet breaks down, just saying. That's my backup. Interesting, isn't it? I think everyone should do that. But anyways, I'll do a video walkthrough on that. So Mistral Next has emerged as the new king of logic in the realm of artificial intelligence, setting a new standard for logical reasoning and problem-solving capabilities. This model with its impressive proficiency has been put through rigorous testing, showcasing its ability to understand the and execute complex logic and reasoning tasks that have traditionally stumped even the most advanced models like GPT-4. All right, so this definitely needs some attention. And this is also open source and uncensored, ladies and gents. I believe so. There are several versions of it, and we will explore that down the road. Mistral Next performance in creating efficient open source models has taken a significant leap forward with its release demonstrating unparalleled efficiency and accuracy in understanding the nuances of logic and reasoning, its capacity and accurately process and respond to intricate logical puzzles, Python coding challenges, and even classic logic and reasoning questions highlights a significant advancement in AI cognitive abilities. This is cool. When you look at the Python coding challenges and some logic, of course, it's gonna take a while to beat the GPT UI, right? This doesn't have the best UI because it's the open source, However, with some polishing, I think we can get there. This model's success in tasks ranging from programming to ethical reasoning without censorship marks a pivotal movement in AI development. See that? Without censorship. Yep, so I'm excited about that. Then, next we have AGI on the horizon. Open AI's predictions alter industry's timeline. Welcome to the edge of technological evolution where OpenAI's recent revolution has sent ripples to the AI community. Yes, this is actually shocking. An OpenAI researcher's prediction list has left the industry aghast, suggesting that the advent of artificial intelligence could be imminent AGI, reshaping our when to any year now. This goes beyond mere speculation, as it's rooted in the culmination of breakthroughs, significant investments, and the undeniable pace at which the field is advancing. Ladies and gents, AGI, Artificial super intelligence, that's ASI, guess what? The conversation doesn't stop at AGI, it extends into the realm of artificial super intelligence. Now that's pretty much the end. A concept once relegated to the distant future or science fiction. The researcher's perspective hints that once AGI is achieved, the leap to ASI may follow swiftly. Wow, sir. AGI is achieved, the leap will follow swiftly, like real quick fundamentally altering every aspect of society, technology, and how we understand intelligence itself. As we stand on this uh, precipice, the question isn't just about the if, but the when. The stand 15% chance for AGI emergence by 2024. Ladies and gents, 2024 or probably 2025. 24, sure, at the end. And increasing odds in the following years. We urge to consider the implications, preparedness, and the ethical framework surrounding this monumental transition. This is extremely important for us to actually pay attention. And I came across an article or some comment when um, one, one person, an individual said, yeah, you know what? The corporations will get all the power, the uncensored version. They'll be able to do all the military, whatever the secret stuff, versus the average Joe will get all the dumbed down version that we get to use on a daily basis. You know what I mean? The regular stuff. I'm like, nah, that's not cool. I mean, that person that individual has a point and that's kind of unfair if you look at it right imagine we don't get agi we don't even get asi that's only for the top tier elite that's concerning all right maybe a discussion for another day last but not the least beyond delhi and mid journey the rise of stable diffusion 3 Stable Diffusion 3 has catapulted into the spotlight, redefining the boundaries of AI-powered art creation. With that, with latest release, Stability AI has not only matched but surpassed the capabilities of its predecessors. DALL-E 3 and Midjourney V6 in prompt understanding, image quality, and spelling precision. This transformative model leverages a diffusion transformer architecture, setting a new standard for text image models. Remarkably, Stable Diffusion 3's proficiency in adhering to complex prompts with astonishing accuracy, showcases its superior performance, whether it's generating detailed anime artwork, capturing the essence of a 90s desktop computer or creating surreal scenes with precise spelling and realism. This is something I wanna explore down the road. And I clearly mentioned, stable, a, Stability AI 
was powering clip drop one of my favorite tools and now well they're coming with this part three seems like they're just branching out and trying to focus on the video version and letting other competition or whatsoever take over their other subcategories apart is commitment to open source availability and this is another interesting thing the open source avail avail availability ladies and gents promising a future where ai creativity is democratized and accessible to all so while we have open ai chat gpt they are not open source as of now no plans that's what sam altman said but when it comes to stability ai we have to pay attention because they're open source so a lot of us who are behind the scenes developers yes this is something to pay attention really and when it comes to i'm talking about the average joe talking about productivity something also to pay attention because they come out with a lot of software if you have paid attention well again i'm using the attention too many times i hope i got your attention <laughs> so yeah they talked about the clip drop right they might have a lot more as well as we have stable video so let's hope let's see what they come up with and later i'll do a comparison side by side it's gonna be interesting for me it's more of practical i do news once a while just so we all can understand and be aware of what's going on but however we also have to be careful of too much information i believe to information overload can damage be extremely detrimental so i have to be careful what i put out there so ladies and gents again i hope you found this useful there are a lot of things i want to cover down the road look at this i haven't even touched this we have the assistance which is in beta mode complete legacy and then we have mid journey which also has the well the web version i haven't explored that yet i just started using it yesterday since yesterday however i still prefer the discord version but hey why not if they have interesting stuff and cool ui keeping it simple we'll explore that down the road so ladies and gents again thanks for watching i appreciate your time and again i invite you to subscribe to the ai newsletter i plan on sending one email a week yeah it's free however i haven't sent anything yet i will only start sending once i have about 10 100 people on the list and if there's anything worth sending and yes that's the only way i can move forward and keep myself accountable and also keep my subscribers opt-in not opt-out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video